Yo, what is going on guys? It's Reflex Phantom. In today's video, we're back on 2K after a long time of not playing it or uploading videos that I've been busy with Outlast 2 and school. So yeah, this is pretty much the first time I've actually been on, back on this game in a while now. So, I've had this video planned for a while, I just haven't had time to record it, but today's video is going to be on how to get Sharpshooter Pro. I have a tutorial on Playmaker Pro or Point Four, the same thing. Slasher Pro, Athletic Finisher Pro, the same thing. And I think those are the only the other two I have, actually. So if you haven't go see those and you want to go check them out for any other my players you have, go check those out. Um, they're on my channel, just scroll through and you'll find them. But today we're focusing on Sharpshooter Pro, uh, my Sharpshooter or Stretch Big Pro, it's the same thing. So yeah, before you leave a like down below and subscribe. Let's get into this. So I got this as I normally do. Going for badges and then I get my guy to 86. So you have to be at least an 86 overall to get uh, your pro badge for your my player, but you can work on getting that badge, the pro badge, while you're not 86. It's like what I normally do, and probably what a lot of other people do, is they go for their badges, right? Like as you see, I have all my Hall of Fame badges on my sharpshooter. By going for those badges, you'll get the bat pro badge probably when you get 86. If you if you at least get like four of your badges, maybe even three, and like maybe or if you get like three, maybe one Hall, of, one of those Hall of Fame or something like that, or four or gold or it doesn't matter. You will probably still get the badge when you're 86. It's just, you just, it, it's the same way things you normally do. In order to get the badge, you just gotta use your main badges consistently. So for sharpshooters, you just gotta catch the ball and shoot it. Core specialist, shoot the ball in the corner. Deep right dead eye, just shoot in people's faces from three point or like deep mid. Limitless range, shoot from deep three and mid range, just shoot people's faces in, in the mid range. Pretty self explanatory. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be showcasing what you need to do in the game with your sharpshooter or stretch big to get the badge and what you need for time so pretty much uh, i'm not playing a game who's even in my micro right now oh sweet the whole pelicans team's here pretty much the whole starting lineup we're just missing demarcus cousins all right so um first one of the things you need is um settings is uh rookie same as noise to keep it rookie um 12 minutes i want to put mine on five just for the showcase of the video because i only play on 12 minute quarters while recording yeah, that's gonna take way too long, so just put on 12 minutes. I'll be doing five just for the sake of this video, and that's pretty much all you need. I'll see you guys in the game. Okay, so to get this badge, it's pretty simple, really. Personally, I think this is the easiest pro badge to get in the game because all you really need to do is just launch shots. It's pretty much the, uh, the only way to get the badge. Well, it is the only way to get the badge, but it's the easiest way too. You just gotta launch shots and rookie. You're guaranteed to hit them because you're on rookie. But yeah, I'm going to showcase what you need to do for like each and every badge. Like right there, that would be Deep Break Dead Eye because I was right in his mouth. Um, and then this one here, Limitless Range, pulling up green from deep. It doesn't actually show the badge at the top. It doesn't show the badge at the top right sometimes. It still counts. As I said, sometimes if you get like more than one badge used in that play or whatever, it won't show that. It won't show every single badge a lot of the time or it just won't show it. Like Mid Range Dead Eye, for example. That badge just doesn't pop up like at all, but you'll still... Trust me on this, you'll still work on getting the badge. And here's another one, just pull up mid-range right in his teeth. Hit that shot. Uh, for all these shots, for all these badges, you do have to hit the shots though. It's not like you have to miss them or just do a bunch of them. You just gotta, you actually have to hit the shots. Um, so yeah, this badge helps out a lot, really. Like, once you get this badge in the park, you're making any jump, you're making any shot. Like, it's insane. Like any, like every pro badge, it's literally insane. And like, with the sharpshooter, you if you miss a shot wide open with the pro badge, that's your jump shot needs to be changed. That's 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 terrible. But <laughs> yeah, that's the one for corner specialist right there. I have like two clubs for corner specialist. Corner specialist is like one of the easiest badges to get in the game. Um, but yeah, that's another one right there. Limitless range, and then I think that would count as deep range dead eye too. Not too sure on that, but it should. It should. Uh, deep range dead eye will also count for deep mid ranges. I didn't actually show any deep mid ranges in this video, but deep mid ranges will count. 
as well for uh, Deeper Jedi. But yeah, that's pretty much all you really need to do. It's pretty simple. It's once this badge, is, pro badge, is really easy to get. I hope you guys out. Leave a comment down below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and helped you out. Subscribe to my videos like these. I have a bunch more videos out. Comment down below what game you want to see me play. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.